It's decision time in the UK. The energy that has powered us until now is no longer sustainable. Wide-ranging change needs to happen. But before considering what action should be taken, we need to understand how we currently use energy, known as demand, and where it comes from, known as supply. Only then can we consider our energy future. Welcome to the British Energy Challenge. Hit the lights, guys. The flick of a switch and electricity we've generated allows us to create light. It's one of the many ways we use energy, but the challenge we face in keeping the lights on has come to signify what having enough energy really means. But what if we turned off all the lights in our homes? How much energy do you think we'd actually save? Well, we measure our energy demand in kilowatt hours per year. That's the unit on your energy bills. So to light up all our homes uses about 13 billion kilowatt hours per year. Now 13 billion may sound like a substantial amount of energy, but it may surprise you to know that it's about the same as we use to power our fridges and freezers, our cookers, and to run our washers and dryers. It's a third less than we use to power all our tellies, consoles and phones, and about double what we use to power the computers in our home. So this is the amount of energy we demand in the form of electricity in our homes. And by the way, when you hear people say this wind turbine could power a thousand homes, they mean a thousand of this. But this isn't the whole picture. We also burn energy directly. For example, if we took all the energy here that we use for electricity and add it together, it's about equal to the amount we use for hot water. Let's put that on top. Now combine everything so far, including hot water, and double it. That's the energy we use for heating about 330 billion kilowatt hours a year. So this is the picture indoors. But what about when we leave our homes? We use more in our personal transport than we do in heating our homes, a bit more than 400 billion kilowatt hours per year. And then there is work. If we count the transport we use at work, the heating at work, the cooling at work, the lighting and appliances at work, then we arrive at approximately how much it takes to create all our products and services, about 750 billion kilowatt hours per year. So there we have the UK's energy demand. To answer the question at the start, how much energy would we save if we turned off all the lights in our homes? Less than 1%. We've seen that the amount of energy we use in a year is about 1,600 billion kilowatt hours. So the next question is, how do we supply this demand? Where does our energy come from? Well, there's been a lot of discussion about renewable energy, so let's start there. Sunlight. How much energy do solar panels provide? Well, in 2013 they provided about 2 billion kilowatt hours of energy, albeit a figure that's growing fast. How does that compare to other renewable sources of energy? It's more than the electricity we get from wave and tide, which is about 6 million kilowatt hours a year, too small to show on this graph. But it's less electricity we get from rain, known as hydropower, and less electricity we get from wind, onshore and offshore, about 17 and 11 billion kilowatt hours respectively. It's also less than electricity we get from our landfill and sewage, less than we get from burning wood and crops, which we call bioelectricity, and less than we get from industrial processes. And if we add all these renewable sources together, they're about equal to the amount of electricity we get from nuclear power. All these are small, however, compared to the amount of electricity we get from gas and from coal. Again, when people say things like wave and tidal power could supply 20% of UK energy, they are normally referring to electricity, this total. But as we saw earlier with demand, Electricity is only about a fifth of the energy we use. But moving away from electricity, how about the fuels we burn directly rather than for electricity? Well, we burn some coal and biomass directly, but these are dwarfed by the gas we burn in our homes, in our offices and in our industry, and by the oil we burn in vehicles and industry. So, there's the UK's energy supply.
And if we look back at where we started, sunlight through solar panels currently provides less than 1% of the UK's energy. That's the picture today. The energy we get from burning fossil fuels accounts for about 90% of all the energy we use. With such an enormous reliance on fossil fuels and the subsequent impact this has on climate change and on our economy, the picture tomorrow has to be different. Historically, the UK benefited financially from having cheap local coal and then cheap local oil and gas. And until around 2004, we were an energy exporter. However, this is no longer the case and we now pay to import just under half of our energy. Added to this, we now know that burning fossil fuels creates carbon dioxide and that causes climate change. The UK has a legally binding target to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to about 160 million tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent by 2050. But we also have to factor in the emissions from cows burping, making cement, international aviation, international shipping and the like. Once we do that, we may need to get the carbon dioxide emissions from burning fossil fuels down to around 80 million tonnes of carbon dioxide by 2050, and then perhaps to zero within my lifetime. To achieve this, we need to start replacing coal, oil and gas. Not immediately, but gradually. The good news is that they are replaceable, but any solution will involve change. Tomorrow's energy landscape is full of possible scenarios. What do you think is the right way? What actions can you take personally? And what should the government do, both nationally and locally? The 2050 Pathways Calculator is an online energy tool that lets you consider these questions. Take a look and see if you can supply the nation's energy while hitting our emissions targets. The challenge is significant, but so is the opportunity. Together we can transform the way we use energy in the UK. Thank you.